Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom Commander Class Rodimus Prime. So, for his packaging here, we got Rodimus Prime here, which looks incredible. I'm actually amazed by this. Transformers Generations, Takara Tommy, 8 Plus, Hasbro, and that's not it. More Rodimus Kingdom, and that's about it, I guess. So... Moving on to this thing itself, this thing is pretty big, if I do say so myself. That's, it's huge, <laughs> or at least its trailer really gives it most of the, most, most of its size, so, yeah. But we're going to separate these two right now, the trailer and Rodimus himself. It's a little hard to do that, alright, there we go. And I do recommend being careful with that since, like, little notch right there and it kind of like this whole yellow piece and orange is it's painted so I don't really want it to scuff hopefully it doesn't scuff considering I spent a hundred and ten dollars on this thing <laughs> but anyways so for his vehicle he looks stunning uh, so for looks like Rodimus he looks awesome yeah so, I'm going to just get the trailer out of the way. It looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Alright, so, if you open this, and you move this down, you have all that going on. So, hinge all that out of the way. Then, all of this will open up to create kind of like this little battle station, I guess. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, but we'll get more into the actual little battle station mode uh, when we get to the robot mode. So we should do that now for this transformation. All right, so what you want to start off with is these two little panels right here. Flip them out just like that. Flip his feet out. Kind of detach the chest here from the windshield. Detach the arms from the sides here. There we go. Just like that. Take these two little panel things. Just push them in like that. Rotate the head. Just like that. Then... What will we do next? All right, so we want to get this up so we can start working on the legs. So we want to split them, rotate at the waist, go to the back over here, and take this panel, flip it out, hinge his whole leg down, push this tire piece in, push it to the point where the tire will be going through this little gap right here, just like that. All right. Then all that just wraps around nice and snugly. All right, same on the other side. Take this panel, flip it out, push the tire in, hinge the leg down, push the tire to that. Then all that just wraps around just like that. Now for his torso over here. Uh, actually, it's right there. As you can see, there's this little tab right here. And I believe it goes like this. And it kind of just thoops in at a point. Like that. And then you can ring. You can properly put... Oh, wait. Almost forgot one step. This step is very important if you want your hot rod to look... Or Rodimus to look proper. You have to... Rotate this whole thing right here. Now, you, now you can go do that again. All right, come on, man. All right, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! All right, little soupy thing, right there. There. All of that sits flush like that. Then this 
hinges into the arm, hinge this up. This little slot goes into that tab right there. It's supposed to at least. I'd hope it would. Yeah, there we go. There. there. Yep. So that's how that's supposed to work. All right, same on the other side. Collapse all that in. Tab goes into the slot. You know, of course, if it wants to, but of course, the figure wants to fight me when it's on the camera. <sighs> I swear this part is always the worst for me. All right, there. So now, this, like, this slot right here, this tab will go into that. Hinge that up. Then, kind of push it in to where it tabs in, just like that. Now, for his arms, you're going to want to flip that up. Hinge that out to the side. Flip all of this around. And then this little, a little tab right there will go into that slot right there. And then all of that wraps around the arm. One more step to the arm. Kind of, kind of pop this part up. Well, come on, pop that up. The tire pushes in. There's a little tab right there. Goes into the little slot in the arm, right there, just like that. Same on the other side. Take that, just like that, hinge this up, swing it around, hinge it down just like that, and then it just wraps around the arm. Alright, final step, right, kind of like with the 86 hot rod. This just swings around, and there is some sort of tab thing right here. It's going to go into this little slot on the back right there. Okay. Just like that, I believe I am done. Hold on, let me take a look here. I think I'm done. Yep, I think I'm done. So, all right. So here is Rodimus Prime in his robot mode, and wow. This th oh, wait, hold on. There. Now he is done. This is Rodimus Prime in his robot mode, and wow, what a beautiful looking figure. I absolutely love it. So, I'm going to go over the articulation, then I'm going to go over the trailer, the accessories, then comparisons, and articulation, and then I'll wrap this review up. Alright, so, or was I going to do articulation first? Yeah. Alright, so ball joint at the head he can look up that far look down that far do a little bit of this he can do a full 360 his neck is also on a joint which can help some of that as well so yeah at the arm it w would do a f yeah I can do a full 360 all right there is a double bend at the elbow there's also a swivel right here at the bicep swivel at the wrist a little hinge so it can go in and out and his fingers are indeed articulated just not his thumb hold on let's get a closer look at this all right so his thumb or so the index finger is separately articulated there is a hinge at the knuckle and a, a hinge right there and all the other three fingers are connected with a hinge at the knuckle there and that is the articulation for the arm waist swivel bicep swivel legs can kick out that far the side skirts move out to accommodate the leg movement they can kick 
forward that far, kick back that far, uh, bicep swivel, I think I already gone over that, but double bend at the knee, second bend right here, pivot, or like, uh, ankle moves forward and back, ankle pivot, and I believe that is it for his articulation, so I'm gonna go over the trailer so with the trailer and the, this gun thing he can stand right here and he can he can like man the whole thing right here i guess and he can like shoot out of it and speaking of shooting he has a few blast effects he comes with However, we're going to only really cover the ones that will affect shooting, I guess. Or makes it look more like he's actually shooting. So, if you have two of these little blue fire effects. So, yeah, it makes it look like he's shooting. So, now, to actually take an in-depth look of the blast effects. Alright, so... Much like Omega Supreme and Skylinks, he comes with three of these. Comes with this little long one. Comes with these two smaller ones, one smaller than the other. And then we have this big clot effect, like this big blast clot. We have the Matrix, uh, matrix effect, which I'll actually go over that right now. So, if you pull that down, you can pick out his matrix, which it's a different mold than the other matrixes since it's different on the back than it normally would. Now this just plugs in the same way the 86 hot rod matrix did, just like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool I guess, but I definitely prefer the 86 hot rod matrix and uh, the effect for it. Alright, he also comes with two smoke effects. For like the vehicle which i forgot to go over in the vehicle mode so and it's a bit of effort to actually put him back in the vehicle so i'm sorry for not going over it earlier he has some more accessories which is i can't remember if i can't remember what this call it. i'll call it a sword but i believe someone called it the sword of primus i believe i think that's what they called it but it also has this little tab right here in the middle you can pull it out and it just tabs into it can tab into his back just like that like if he would like if he had it on his back or you can have it him hold it like he'd hold an actual sword oh my god why is my camera so bad at focusing there you can have him hold it like he can hold a normal sword just like that Next accessory is this uh, blaster or rifle. Like it flips out and it's got two tabs right there. He can hold it with both hands. It's not really that interesting. It's not that special. So I'm not really going to showcase him with it. So yeah. For some size comparisons. Here he is with 86 Hot Rod and you know he's a good bit taller than Hot Rod obviously so yeah here he is with galvatron i'm not sure if i will make a review off of galvatron i'll let you guys decide that you know if you actually watch this video that far because yeah that was my review off of the transformers kingdom commander class rodimus prime if you guys want to see more reviews off of commander classes then please let me know in the comments below so thank you for watching and bye bye